Okay, I'm starting a three-day trip today. Our port time isn't until later on this evening, so Josh is gonna drive me to the airport after work. Thankfully, I pretty much have the whole day at home to chill and pack and get ready. I've been doing a lot better lately with packing my cooler and bringing my own food on trips because it gets so expensive. Whenever I'm working and I go on a two or three day trip and I don't bring any food, I end up spending so much money. So I've been doing a lot better with bringing my own food. I'm gonna bring some of these meals from Factor. If you haven't heard of Factor, they send you delicious meals in little boxes like this. All you have to do is heat them up in the microwave or the oven. They just take about two minutes in the microwave. I have been working a ton this month, a lot more than I normally work. So these have been really nice to have because I've been super busy and really haven't had the time to plan out my meals and then go to the grocery store, get everything, come home, cook everything, meal prep. It's just a lot and it takes up a lot of time. So these are really nice to have if you're really busy. It's super easy to order. You just go on their website and you can choose the meals that you want. And they have lots of options if you're vegetarian or keto or just watching your calories. Every meal has the instructions and the information on the back. So if you're someone who is counting your macros or just watching your calories, you've got all the information right there. So it helps you stay on track and keep your fitness goals in check. I'm gonna have one for lunch too. So I'll show you what that looks like. They're fresh meals and they're created by chefs and dietitians. So you know you're getting good balanced meals. They also have different things that you can add on like smoothies, juices, desserts, things like that. Okay, this is sour cream and chive chicken. This is so good. This might be my favorite Factor meal so far. So if you want to get started with Factor, they are offering 50% off right now. So if you just click the link in the description box, you can go choose your meals and then use the code CAS50 and that'll get you 50% off. So that is a great discount for some really good, easy, convenient food that is really delicious. All right, good evening. It is 7 p.m. My report time today is 7.40. 1 p.m. Today we just have one leg to Jacksonville. I actually traded into this trip. It's a three day. I had another three day and someone very kindly traded me their trip. The original trip that I had left at like 3 p.m. Both trips were one leg, two legs, two legs, but this trip left later and gets back earlier on the third day. So they were so nice to trade me. I don't know if they liked my layovers or what, but I was like, I can't believe you're trading me, but thank you. We love a late report because I have a driver. Yeah, but she doesn't pay me, Jack. <laughs> Five hours later. Okay, it is now 11, 12 p.m. We are back in the car. Yes, we are. <laughs> Poor Josh was sleeping and I had to call him and tell him to come pick me up because um, the pilot's timed out. We are not going to Jacksonville tonight. We'll see what happens with us. I have no idea what's gonna happen with my trip, but for now we are going home and we'll see what my trip gets changed to but they came in from somewhere else and i think their flight in might have been delayed too once the pilots got there then we had a mechanical issue so they had to take care of that so we were already boarded everything ready to go and we had to turn around and delay until tomorrow at noon so tomorrow at noon is when the flight is supposed to go out from dallas to nashville i mean jacksonville poor josh hey, you offered to uber I did offer to Uber. Well, absolutely not. <laughs> he showed up in his Crocs. That's right. <laughs> My knight in shining armor. Okay, it is 11.40. Just got home. And I gotta unpack the cooler. Okay, we are on our way to the airport again. It's actually Saturday now. Since the first day of our trip, got all screwed up because the pilots timed out and we got sent home. We did get removed from the entire trip, so I picked this turn up today. It's just a DC turn. It should be an easy day. Today we are doing a four leg turn. So we are working four legs in one day. Oh my gosh, my hands have never been this orange. I usually try to avoid working four legs in one day, but I traded a three day trip for this. So we'll see if I regret it by the end of the day, but it was either work two, three days back to back or trade into something like this. I do need to leave in about 20 minutes. Okay, I forgot that it was spring break. Finding a parking spot was insane. Thankfully, I'm going out of C and that is where I parked. The first turn today is Tulsa and then El Paso. So Dallas, Tulsa, Tulsa, Dallas, 
two hour sit in Dallas. In Dallas, El Paso, El Paso, back to Dallas. So our Tulsa turn actually went pretty quick. I think both flights were about 40 minutes each. So we got back to Dallas on time and then we had about a two hour sit before our El Paso turn. So I pretty much just walked around the airport a little bit, got some steps in. And then our El Paso flight was going out of the new Seagates. So I just went and sat in the terminal for a little bit waiting on our plane. I sat under this nice little tree. <laughs> And then we did our El Paso turn. Everything went smooth. We got back to Dallas on time. I could not believe every single flight took off and landed on time. No delays, no nothing. I feel like that's so rare for four legs in one day to go that smoothly. I must have gotten here at the worst time for parking <laughs> because now it's like 8.30 PM and I'm seeing all these open spots. Okay, good afternoon. Today I'm starting a three-day trip. I've been trying to drop this trip, but no one wanted it. Nobody wanted to pick it up. And I'm kind of surprised too, because it's really not a bad trip at all. It's a one, two, two, a 15 hour layover in Cancun tomorrow. I don't know. I, I don't feel like it's a bad trip at all. I don't know why anybody didn't want it, but I mean, I don't want it either, but still, you know, my report time is at 445, but we're delayed about two hours. Our plane isn't even getting in until I think like 550 or something. I'm looking at it right now. We're just doing one leg to Orlando today. However, we are under a tornado watch right now. Again, this just happened a few weeks ago and my flight canceled. So we'll see how that goes. So far, I haven't really seen anything canceled, just a lot of delays. Y'all hear that thunder? Okay, well, I'm here. Don't know what's gonna happen with my flight, but I'm here. It still says on the app that our plane is supposed to get here in an hour, but I did get the tornado warning alert on my way here. Uh, I'm gonna go get something to eat, I guess. This is the third gate change that we've had since I've been here. Our plane diverted to Oklahoma City, and now I think they're trying to find us a new plane. We are delayed until 8.37 now. I think it's about 7.15 now, so I've been here for almost three hours, just chilling. This room is nice. Let's see if we have, oh, a view. This is actually a new hotel for me. So I'm gonna show you the room real quick and then I'm going to bed because it's been a long day even though we only worked one flight. I love this little nook. We've got a fridge down there, microwave, coffee, and then the bathroom is pretty. Two beds. Ooh, this little chair is cute. Of course, we've got the desk, TV, and I already set my stuff up here. All right, it is 2.19. We ended up being delayed about four hours. We took off like 9.50 p.m. So since we got delayed like four hours, that obviously cut into our layover time. Um, so our layover is super short now. It was originally like 14 hours and now it is 10. We are leaving the hotel at 11.30. So I'm gonna try to get to sleep as soon as possible. We only worked one leg, but I'm worn out. Something about just sitting in the airport for hours, you know, it's kind of exhausting. Good morning, it is 11.18 a.m. I just got done getting ready. I feel like I slept okay, but I forgot to put the do not disturb sign on the door and housekeeping was banging on my door at 9 a.m. So I got like six-ish hours of sleep. Whenever that happens, I don't even get out of bed. I don't even worry about it um, because I've got this thing in the door. So when you have this little extra lock, nothing to worry about, nobody's getting in your room. Today we have two legs. We're going back to Dallas and then Dallas to Cancun. 
It's a beautiful day here. No weather here. I think the weather's cleared up in Dallas now too. Time fishing with suitcase on this carpet. Oh no. This is a new hotel for me. I've never stayed here before. I think we actually just started staying here. My camera's about to die, so I'm going quick. Um, these little lights are fun. And then you can like see through into the bathroom here. So that's different. This is the closet which I, I hate that, I don't like that. And then the bathroom is really pretty. I'll give them that, this is a beautiful shower. It's just a weird setup in here to me. Like, I don't know, it's, it's different. It's definitely different. This little swing in chair is cool, that is fun. <laughs> Let me show you out here. Beautiful view of the, um, what is that thing called? It's not a carousel, Ferris wheel. And Ripley's, believe it or not. So it is now 8.18 p.m. It feels like it is like midnight. It feels so late. So now the AC has decided to stop working for me. It was working when I came in. Hase Kalor. I know y'all are gonna be like, just go call them or get a new room or something, but I don't wanna have to call them. It's 11 o'clock at night and I just wanna go to bed. Okay. Perfect. Good morning. Okay, so I think this is like a lagoon over here and then the beach is that way. Um, we're not on the beach, so I would have to walk and I have to be downstairs in an hour. You'll never guess what just happened. Just as I'm about to leave, the air decided to turn on. Nice. So you're working now. That's great. All right, it is 10.30 a.m. now. Our van time is at 10.50, so I'm ready to go. I just need to throw on my uniform, and I'm really just ready to get this day started and get it done, get home. We're going to Charlotte from Cancun and then Charlotte to Dallas. Thankfully, I did sleep pretty well despite having no AC all night. 